like, this is a movie. Just the enemy. That's how it works, though. Home slice. Let's go get this movie. <laughs> Let's go. What's up, y'all? South African Geek here. Welcome to my channel. This is my No Way Home spoiler review. Man, this movie was a trip. It was like everything I expected and more. This movie said you have expectations. Well, here, here's your plate. Eat up. Oh my God, everything came to fruition. There were some things that I didn't even expect to happen that happened. Oh my God, this was amazing. Like, I'm gonna start this off with a character ranking then we'll dive into the plots and everything else the flaws um character ranking tom harlan the, number one this was his spider-man movie uh there's no doubt about it he is spider-man now we even got a new suit him coming in clutch christmas time also making me think about hawkeye in the background which was kind of amazing coming in second has to be andrew garfield I don't know, he hit more different than Toby for some reason for me. Maybe because of his excitement to be in this event, put him above. Toby was too calm, I mean, he was too calm, you know what I'm saying? But he was the grown up. It, it fits his character for the movie. He was the grown up and the words of wisdom he had for everybody. He even popped up um, Andrew's attitude about himself. like when he thought his life was more boring than the other. The, the, the dynamic between the three of them was fantastic. I mean, like, talking about Toby, he's the third person on the list. <laughs> Obviously, Spider-Man movie, the Spider-Mans take the first three spots, which was amazing. From the introduction oh, to the moment they said goodbye, it was just everything I ever wanted, to the meme callbacks, to the organic webs. Oh my God, like everything, the interactions were like the highlight. Like this is one of the best third acts the MCU has ever made. Oh my God, I was just sold. Then, then we jump into the villains. William Defoe, man, who knew William would be a better villain for Tom Holland than he was for Toby? And that's saying something because he was an amazing villain for Toby. But here, and uh, they found a interesting way to make him invested in taking down Tom Harlan's Peter Parker mode and Toby because Tom wanted to kill the evil side so the evil side was fighting back oh my god that was just chef's kiss oh oh I will talk about the fight sequences oh my god that movie is just immaculate then we go into um MJ MJ Zandaya came through clutch people were unsure about her in the first movie the second movie didn't sell a lot of people I was already so from the jump from the moment she's like call me MJ I was like oh my god it's about to be something else but here it was the Tom and MJ show they were giving the other the other Spider-Man couples a run for their money and it was pretty fantastic oh man it was pretty fantastic even the goodbye even Tom doing the most Spider-Man thing at the end and saying goodbye oh that was just something else man then we gotta come in with Dr. Strange Dr. Strange also shined they actually made it more believable because in the trailer everybody was like is it Mephisto is it Evil Strange but here they wrote it in a way to make you see why Strange would do such a thing you know what I'm saying he expected nothing to go wrong that's why he did the spell but Peter being Peter, things had to go wrong, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this movie is so fantastic. Then we go to Dark Ark, Alfred Molina. Wow, he was himself, man. Everything you loved about him, true to himself. And the, the villains having a little bit of amnesia about how they died, because they were taken just before they died, is, is a pretty interesting premise. It made so much sense. I have no problems about that. Then we go, gotta go to Electro. Jamie Foxx came in with some swag at this, yo. How you like that new you? Oh man, he was so cool. Max was another highlight. Him and Andrew also had a touching moment. Alfred Melina and Toby also had a touching moment. Oh, even Sandman and Toby. Oh, Dr. Connors and Tom. This was just something else. Ah, oh, then Aunt May. R.I.P. to the VIP. That was another moment. That will go down in Spider-Man history, man. When she said, "The great, um, with great power comes great responsibility," I knew that it, she was gone, man. She was gone, and the death scene was so touching because she she wasn't aware of what was happening, and Tom calming her down, not making her panic in the last few moments. Oh, 
that was heartbreaking then they did to a scene of him watching james jo james jonah jameson ripping him into shreds like his public perception to shreds while he just went through the most traumatic shit ever oh my god in rain that was a shot it makes me like that poster they drop of him sitting there more oh my god that's, that that poster encapsulates the whole movie like i was just so sold oh my god this movie was so fantastic oh my god then we gotta dive into ned you a wizard now harry <laughs> who, who knew when he dropped that fact about his family having like wizards and it will lead to if not the two most hype moments of the movie the crowd lost their shit it was like their devil when andrew showed up and toby showed up oh my god when they all swang oh even the lab scene well who's peter no peter parker out oh, that moment was just everything it was like the meme i love that scene so much then obviously the last two i'm just gonna put them together a sandman and, and lizard they were basically there to add more villains there was no more depth to their character especially lizard i mean like the electro and sandman scene was more touching than anything lizard did so i'll give sandman a, a little bit of a more pass him talking about his daughter it was a little nostalgic factor them talking about them both falling in falling on to get their powers one fell into an experiment the other one fell into another experiment it was a moment man ah that was just fantastic the story the way they did the whole story from the opening starting from where far from home ended to uh the one taking the apartment to the police scene when ned cracked uh to them losing their chances to get into mit to the way they treated peter and the school was just everything the pacing was phenomenal in this like when your secret gets revealed these are the consequences that's why at the end he probably did the the best thing for him as spider-man but the worst thing for him as peter parker if you know what i mean god damn this movie was fantastic oh the scene with him and dr strange strange has some of the best visual scenes in the mcu i mean like you gotta give this guy his props that whole the mirror dimension scene and he was stuck in there for a minute to let the other pe parkers and Ned, Ned and MJ breathe and the villains to breathe. William Defoe, that scene with him and Tom as he spider senses him turning evil, leading into that hallway scene where they fell from each hallway. Oh my god, that was a brutal fight. Not to mention the end fight where Tom almost took his life and stopped by Toby. This movie was fucking fantastic. Oh shit. Oh man. I have so little complaints like this legit was a 10 out of 10 movie for me for what I wanted it to be was it the best MCU movie probably not probably if I would rewatch all the MCU movies uh, Captain, Captain America Winter Soldier will still be up there <laughs> and Infinity Wars and stuff like that but this movie the Spider-Man ranking I don't know where it is right now especially it, it's definitely the top movie in Tom's trilogy. I don't know about everybody else though. Hope he's still nostalgic. Like his mo him in his movies, probably number one. Andrew in his movies, number one. You know what I'm saying? Tom in this movies, number one. That's how Spider Man is supposed to make you feel. And let's stop the debate who's the best man. They all acknowledge each other. They all amazing. Oh, this was a fantastic movie. Oh, that moment where Andrew saves MJ. The callbacks in this movie are phenomenal, y'all. So many callbacks. I loved every part of this movie. If you haven't watched it, you are missing out. Like I said, for me, it's a 10 out of 10. Let's talk about it more. I want to watch it again. And I probably have more things to say. If you want another video updated reaction, probably I'll, I'll save it until this recovery comes out on Blu-ray or something. Watch it for my channel. That would probably be so amazing. That would geek out more every moment chair with the audience also thank you for 500 subs yeah yeah oh this was an amazing movie like i said 10 out of 10 for what i wanted it to be like suicide squad what i wanted it to be it was a 10 out of 10 was it the best dcu movie no but it was a 10 out of 10 suicide squad movie like i said this was a 10 out of 10 spider-man movie tell me what you guys think deuces